Hello, good evening, ladies and gentlemen, and welcome back to another episode of Bahrain Now. I'm your host, Bara Abdallah, and this season is filled with the latest topics and trends happening in the country, which you don't want to miss out. So stay tuned. Ladies and gentlemen, as we are having a unique insurance initiative that seeks out only the best prices for a variety of clinical services, from healthcare to beauty. The Samal Bahrain card has been a helping hand to many people around Bahrain. To tell us more about the Samal Bahrain card is the founder herself, Arij Al Khan. How are you? Thank you so much for having me today. Definitely, definitely. We are so psyched about this new product and initiativity. So tell us more about the Health Saver card. Actually, uh, before I tell you about the Sema card and the idea, um, uh, I will tell you about my myself. Mm. Actually, I do have an experience for more than 12 years in the insurance field. Okay. And I have a passion and in love with the insurance factor, especially supporting people in, uh, in the wise of individual or corporate, mm. giving them a solutions by with insurance product. So during my journey of the insurance, uh, there was a lot of demand in the medical insurance. Okay. Actually, I do have an experience for more than 12 years in the insurance sector. And uh, during my journey with the insurance, I do uh, part of my job, I do a financial planning for the individual and the corporate. And I have a passion and in love with the insurance mm -hmm. field. And uh, there was a large, a large demand I need in the medical insurance. So the insurance um, is only for two segments. And there is many segments who don't have a medical insurance. Mm. So the things uh, in love of the insurance, I like to support people in a financial wise by insurance product. When they ask me about the medical insurance, I can't, not everybody, I can't support them with, with it. Right. So it is covered with only two segments. The first one is the corporate company, uh, the company who uh, give the insurance a benefit for their uh, staff and their families. And the second one is the um, a person who can afford for the insurance. And you know that the insurance is a little quite expensive. Mm, yeah. So what about the other segments who don't have insurance, like the old ages? Right. Um, you know, they are the most people who uh, go regularly to the hospital and In they spend of a right. lot of monies. And the people who retire, the people who have an existing or pre-existing and chronic disease. Right. So even if they can afford the insurance, they will not accept them. And if they will accept it, they will, uh, it will be a little quite expensive with a limited. The people who work in the government, the labor, the disabled people, all of these segments, they don't have the medical insurance. So when they ask me, I feel very disappointed mm. that I can't help them, I can't support them. So that's why I was thinking, how can I support them? And how can I cover the gap between the insurance and uh, to give them the solution? Wow, no, I mean, that's actually beautiful. And the thing is, you've been doing insurance for 12 years. And then you came up with this idea and you're targeting your audience right now, right? Yes. So that's why Sama solution, solution is came up. So how to support them by giving them an alternative option for who don't have the medical insurance and also for the people who have a medical insurance with a restricted or limitation uh, of benefit, like they don't have the dentist or the physiotherapy mm -hmm. or the maternity and pregnancy. So that the card, it's covered uh, all of these. Amazing, amazing. I mean, I you definitely filled the gap right there with yes. the Health Saver card. And you targeted your audience, you know exactly who you want to target and who to want to help as well. With all of that, I'm sure you went through a lot of challenges, right? to come together to put the card together out there. Can you tell us about the challenges? Of course, um, Sama card is a new concept, as you know, and it is um, a new concept in our society. It was very dif difficult at the beginning to explain it and um, to the people or even the hospital. 
Of course, my first challenge, it was the hospital. How can I convince them, convince them to contract with me? Right. I'm not an insurance. I'm a medical discount card. Mm. I don't have a database. It's a new thing and a new concept for them. So how can I change it? So that's why I try I, and I insist to convince them uh, in a wise of um, as a human to support the people and the people they need it. At the end, they accepted okay. in a humanitarian wise okay. for the community services. You know that the hospital right now, they are the one who's um, the new provider who targeting us. And uh, I want to send or deliver a message to all the hospital who's, uh, who's our partner and who shared with us all the sexes for mm -hmm. the, uh, until now. It's amazing. I mean, I can see there is like, uh, we're just scratching the surface with your product and it's just going to get bigger and bigger. Definitely with all of that. So now with all that and going through the pandemic, COVID-19, what happened there? Did you see a more of an opportunity? Were there more challenges with the, with the project? What happened during that period? Of course, all the world has affected uh, economically. Of course, uh, Samarkand, uh, the business little dropped down, mm. but I found it as an opportunity. And I, and I have to take it, and I already, I take it as an advantage point. So that's why uh, what I did, I transferred all my talent from my childhood, okay. even there, and I put it in Sema. Like before, I like to do uh, interviewing, uh, I like to do videos, um, mm -hmm. I like to do acting, I like to talk in the society. All of this, I did it. The things that I did, and I was the first woman in Bahrain who started doing a live and through an Instagram wow. uh, at the beginning of the uh, chronic pandemic. Uh, I do a program in life. Uh, it's called um, Doctor at Your House, Tabibek okay. fi I interview a professional doctors. Um, it's all about Corona and uh, to reduce the scare for the people and awareness and mm. how to prevent the corona. It takes from me from three to four hours a day for, for each doctor and um, from twice to thre three times a week. Wow. And it was in Ramadan. That was like a full-time job right there. I really like it, I love it. It takes a lot of energy and effort, but I love it. Uh, also, um, I award 1,000 uh, volunteers in the corona pandemic mm. uh, with asso association with the Al Khadiya Youth uh, uh, Society. Also, I was a president on the uh, regional uh, health. Uh, it was uh, under patronage of the um, chairman of uh, Shura Council, mm. and we uh, and there. Uh, many doctors who participate from the Middle East. Mm. All right, great. So there's a lot of achievements, but I'm sure there are more challenges that you face beside of the course. Corona, beside the hospitals. I mean, there's more to that, right? Of course, the customer at the beginning, it, as I told you, it's new and we have to do a lot of awareness and to have to educate the people about the new concept, how to uh, use the card, what is the meaning of the card. Mm. So what I did, I did a lot of events uh, in the ministries, in the society, in the mm. companies. I do a lot of presentation and lectures to explain how, uh, what is SEMA and how can you use it, how can you benefit. Also, I did one big conference uh, under patronage of Sheikh Mohammed Al Khalifa. Mm. He's the chairman of Health uh, Supreme Council. And uh, we do a big events that we allowed um, all our, most of our provider to participate in mm. this events. I did uh, also uh, another conference under patronage of the Minister of Health, Ms. Faiqa Saleh. And, um, I interview three doctors in the stage wow. and um, I do the speech and also I explain about Sama and how the benefits. I do so many offered efforts and many <laughs> things to, to do the awareness. Uh, radio, social media, I go live to the social media, I talk, I talk. I never do that before. All I did it at Sama. You were very it's encouraged, new. right? I really love what I'm doing. Amazing. I really like summer. And it shows, it really does. 
I mean, the word sama, I think there's a play of words with that, right? Tell us more about the word sama. Sama is like a sky. Okay. Yani, it's like pure sky. Let me tell you something. I have um, a relationship with Sama. Right. Um, I feel it's like my baby. <laughs> I really take care of it. I feed it. Uh, I think about it 24 hours. I put all my feelings and energy in Sama. Mm. That's why uh, we have recently we, we will celebrate 50,000 member membership. Wow, congratulations. Thank you That's so much. That's an amazing number, actually. You know, you've done all the awareness. You presented conferences. You interviewed doctors. You went through the challenges. You helped a lot of people. And you, like, pretty much killed the gap that yes. was there. So it shows. Definitely Thank you. all your efforts. You know, I, um, I think it's like a mission, mm. a message that I have to deliver it to all the people. I want to support you. I want to help you. There is Sama that will save your money for right. your medical treatment. You need it. You have to take it, especially for the people who don't have a medical insurance. Mm -hmm. I mean, what you're doing is amazing. Like pretty much you've been presenting events, you know, interviewing doctors, going live on social media, coming here on Bahrain TV and just giving us your positive vibes and what Sama car is all about. And not only that, you face all these challenges, you've been giving a beautiful awareness to people and closing the gap. That's a lot of work. It's a lot of efforts. And now it's not only an insurance approach, you're having a medical discount saving card. So tell us more about that. It's called Sama Health Saver. From the name, it is a health saver, mm. saving your money, saving your medical treatment. Uh, Sama Health Saver is a medical discount card that entitled you to get an immediate discount in a wide range of private hospitals or clinics who's contracted with us. You will get an immediate discount in all medical services and cosmetic as well. Okay. You will get a discount on the consultation, laboratory and x-ray, wow. physiotherapy sessions, uh, dentists, and um, maternity and pregnancy, uh, surgery, and many, many other benefits. That's like pretty much everything everybody needs. Yes, and the benefit of the car that it is a uh, very reasonable price, mm. comparing, of course, different than the insurance, and it is um, unlimited usage. Okay, oh. Immediate usage. Right. Uh, it's cover all the categories uh, like old ages people, the okay. chronic and pre-existing conditions, and every person he can apply, like Bahraini residents and visitors. Too good to be true. <laughs> Thank Honestly, you. Honestly, I mean, sign me up, that's for sure. I need my <laughs> card, let's go. That's definitely it. Sure. So now, I would say you've been all through these challenges and everything and bringing together an amazing product. But I can tell there is definitely an entrepreneurial side to you. So what's your advice to all those that would have to go through what you've been through as an entrepreneur? Within every person, he have a powerful inner strength. He have to discover it. There is few people who discover their inner strength. First, you have to dream back and visualize your dream. Put all your feeling and energy on it. Mm. Believe in yourself. Trust with what you are doing. Believe in your idea. Stick with it. Hold it hardly. Don't let anyone do to disappoint you. And keep going. Think. Uh, every day, 24 hours, and often a day. Make a plan and make sure that and prepare yourself that you are going to face a lot of challenges and obstacles and fears. And don't feel afraid. Don't feel, uh, don't afraid from fa uh, failure. Mm. Feel it, face it, and stand up and then again try to change the plan and again stand up and if, if it doesn't work change it to another plan and take the action and focus in your goal 
and work and work and definitely your success is yours. Well, ma'am, yes, ma'am. I'm going to go with that and follow the advice. Thank you so much for being part of our show. And definitely, thank you so much for closing the gap. Now, I think definitely we have a better approach. I think a lot of people will be more encouraged to go with your approach after hearing all of this. I mean, definitely, um, sign me up. That's it. <laughs> you are definitely. most welcome. But I yes. have something, not, something good you for do. you. This is yours. And you can use it from now there you go all right all right here we go here we go we got the car guys and you can say this is not an insurance card i love that <laughs> we have to make sure <laughs> yes it is not an insurance and you can use it immediately oh, it's, and i like the color it's it's purple it's like soothing. It's my favorite color Those emotions oh definitely look at that health saver well thank you so much i really appreciate the gesture you are most welcome and it's uh, really nice from you and i really i feel very relaxed and comfort talking with you oh definitely and it's definitely the feeling is mutual and again thank you so much for closing such a difficult gap in the insurance and the medical field i'm sure like it took you way longer than we thought but thank you Six so much years. thank we, you we appreciate you well, ladies and gentlemen, there you have it right now, as now we have different approach for your medical health. All that with the Sama Bahrain card. More coming up right here on Bahrain Now. Ladies and gentlemen, creative people are the ones who are usually found to follow their curiosity and being curious is the key to creativity. Here in the studio with us is Bedr Ataranja, who is Curiosity Creative Tea, brought us all the way to an amazing interview right here with Bahrain Now. How are you? I'm fine. How are you, Bara? I'm happy to be here. Oh, definitely. <laughs> Again, curiosity, creativity, you. So a lot is going on here. Tell us a little bit about your journey in the curious, creative world. Well, um, obviously, like you said, curiosity is what led me here. Um, and just a little bit of background about myself. I did not go to film school. Mm. I did not study direction or direction of photography. But it was the curiosity and um, the passion to kind of train my eyes to look at photogra photographs or images in a different way, different perspective compositions. Okay. So, yeah, I mean, you're always curious on which angle to shoot from. You know, you have the tons of angles and then you right. have to decide one that kind of tells the story or tells the audience the vision of the director. So basically, yeah, curiosity is what got me here. I do remember that one gig you and I had for a car commercial yes, a we long did. time ago. Yeah. And I still remember how you were curious about, let's try this, let's try that. True. The lighting, you know, the camera angle and True. all of that. You were all over the place. I was all over the place. And that was when I first started. I believe that was 2015. Pretty much, yes. Uh, one man show, just a camera in my hand and a few lights. And I remember having tons of mistakes in my work, which mm. is fine because right. pressure molds you to becoming a better, you know, self version of yourself. F uh, yep, that, that, those days were hectic. They, <laughs> they were messy, they were messy. But you, you do learn a lot and um, you just don't accept failure. You, you go through failure, but you don't accept failure. And, you know, that's what kind of tops up curiosity and mm. pushes you towards passion or towards, you know, building something out of the okay. air. Okay, so before coming to the interview, I was reading about the whole thing, the terminology, Director of Photography, DOP. So what does it focus on? So the DOP is the person who manages the lighting department and the camera department in any production. The DOP is the heart of the production because he's the person who communicates the vision of the director visually. He's wow. the person who's responsible into transferring the vision of the director into something visual and a good DOP would make a film um, that uh, basically a film without an audio if, if an audience watches it a good DOP 
you'll be able to kind of understand the story just by watching the images and pictures. So it really serves the director in terms of his mood, his vision in the, in the film and mm. Wow, so you're like the director's best friend, savior. Yes, not savior, but best friend. Say the director is the chosen one. Okay. And then the DOP <laughs> is the person who kind of, you know, serves the chosen one. Uh, I'm hearing some good giggles right now. <laughs> <laughs> They're loving your answer. This is beautiful. So now as you explain the DOP, so you kind of like entered a little bit into the cinematography as well. So are they like blended in one place? It's pretty much the same thing. The cinematographer and the DOP are just two different terminologies to the same aspect. Um, sometimes in these terminologies, one person is going to carry more or less responsibilities than the other. But generally, they are in line with each other, basically. Well, I can only imagine the experimentation <laughs> phases between this light, this mic, this camera. A lot went into bringing who you are today. Yep, and 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 on top of that, it's the composition. You know, how how, how do I want to film? Is this a wide shot? Does this require a you know a medium or a close up? It's it all comes down to the DOP basically. Wow. The DOP and the director are the people who kind of put the storyboard together. Now, of course, the DOP has to work in line with the with the production design because every great film or episodes or you know, show or, ser or series requires production design. Right. And it's important that everyone is aligned when it comes to the mood and the tone of the film. Mm. So production design will have to choose the colors that would fit the general tone of the film, basically. Right. Um, so it's all interconnected. Wow, so now we entered a new space color grading i would say yeah color grading colors. color grading um so basically color grading is the last step when it comes to um, the film it takes the vision of the director what the dop has built and then communicates it in terms of of colors see mm. colors have this leniency to transfer emotions right so you see for example, The Matrix was shot in this dirty green kind of look. Yes. yes. And the reason behind that is the, in the film, The Matrix, they are in the digital world, which is usually resembled in green and black colors, right? So. <sighs> I never thought of that. Exactly. And now right? it's like, wait exactly. a minute. And uh, you have films like um, Hotel Budapest. Yes, yes. That was one of the movies where they actually used two, two kind of um, contrasting images where okay. there are these dark moody scenes right. and there are these very bright pink yellow greens. Obviously Wes Anderson, you know, his style is kind of fixed right there. If you see a movie of, of Wes Anderson, you'll just know that it's him straight away. Oh man. Um, and that is because he has the obviously him as the director, the um, DOP, the production design, everyone works in line with his vision, which is right. this color pop right. in this mundane situation. Mundane you know? situation. <laughs> so, wow. Wow, this is, you just opened up right now a new line of <laughs> thoughts. Like I can just ask you, it's like, what do you think would happen to the Justice League, you know, when Zack Snyder came in and he had to reproduce <laughs> the entire thing into four hours of film? <laughs> and, and with all the color grading, now you opened, like, it's an eye-opener, like yeah. what you told us right now. So, cinematography, DOPs. Like, did you reach to a point that with a certain director, you had to bring different lenses with different cameras because each shot will have it you know, I would say would need a different kind of lens to it, a different look? True. Um, different lenses, yes, definitely. Um, but not different cameras, because when we're filming, we try to kind of maintain the same standards okay. or quality of, okay. of the film. So, but lenses, yes, definitely, because every shot will require certain um, emotions to be conveyed. Say, for example, if I want to show you in this lonely space, mm. right? Mm. I'm going to use a wide shot and just place you in the center, for example. And that's just going to convey the message that Bara is lonely, you know? Yeah, yeah. <laughs> um, otherwise, if I want to, say, 
reveal your character to the audience, then I would choose a medium shot, which is, you know, getting kind of closer, compressing everything together. So again, it's just decisions that serves the scene, right? which eventually serves the entire project. Wow, it just felt like a Udemy class right now. It's, it's an eye opener. Right? I love this, <laughs> I love this. So who inspires you the most in this field? Well, I can't say who inspires me the most. I mean, when I started, yes, I can name tons of people. But mm. now you're at the stage where if something feeds my eyes, then I'll call it inspiration. I love Any, that expression. As simple as that. You know, even Pinterest is my, my best source of, of inspiration when it comes okay. to photography or, or um, being a director of photography. So, yeah, I mean, anyone really. All right, all right. So here is a very random question. Let's say right now you got a budget of 1 million Bahraini dinars oh. to pursue a project you always wanted. Here's yeah. a blank check. Bad okay. Up. What are you going to do with that? Well, first thing, first thing, I'm going to pick the right director and find the right vision. Okay. Obviously, I'm the director of photography, so I would tell the story visually, but I need someone who kind of, you know, puts everything together, um, put the story or give the story meaning, basically. Right. For a million, a million dinars? Yes. Yes. Hell yes. Dinars. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> I can see the excitement. <laughs> you know, you glued up. Yeah. I mean, color graded. <laughs> I mean, I would, I would go high end with everything. You know, this would be the dream of every director, every producer, every, basically everyone in the film industry to have a million din dinars, Bahraini dinars. Bahraini, yes. Bahraini dinars. BHD. Yes. <laughs> Yes, definitely. Okay, okay, you never know. You know, people are watching this right now. It's like, I like this guy. Let's go. <laughs> What's his email again? <laughs> <laughs> definitely. So, yeah, I know, like, there's so much to talk about in your field, even your journey itself. And unfortunately, like, we just need all the time in the world just yeah. to experience your journey. But let's now, let's say, if there's one last thing you want to say to your viewers, what would that be? Well, I would say that. If you're in the passion, or, or if you have the passion to film or to, you know, shoot photographs or stills or whatever, whatever field you want to, it's just like you have to be persistent. Like when I first started, I had no idea. Everything I have today is big thanks to Google and YouTube. You know, everything. For, yes, sometimes I would feel that I don't have the knowledge. Sometimes I would feel you know, every, every artist goes through this when you're like, self-confidence isn't at 100%. But, you know, just keep going, just, you know, be, be persistent and yeah, knowledge is free now, right? Yeah. So, yeah, the age of information, right? True. Definitely. True. So, Mr. Cinematographer, DOP <laughs> specialist, a person who likes to feed his eyes with inspiration, you are an inspiration. Thank, Thank you, you so much. Even Thank your you colors. So look, at, look at that, man. I like the way you picked your colors. Pop, right? <laughs> <laughs> Definitely. <laughs> and I'm so glad that I had the chance to actually experience one of your beginnings in 2015. Thank you. Thank you for and I can only imagine what's going to be the future for you. Shall so much appreciated. Definitely, sir. Thank you so much. <laughs> well, ladies and gentlemen, DOP, cameras, cinematography, the beautiful world, all of the lenses, all that with better taking place right here on Bahrain now. Well, ladies and gentlemen, we have reached the end of tonight's episode and I hope you enjoyed it as much as I did. Featuring inspiring guests and don't forget to reach us on our social media accounts shown below and all the information and updates will be following you on social media. So I was your host for this episode, Barah Abdullah. For now, goodbye and God bless.